Okay, we're gonna discuss the Idaho stop law. So the basic of this law is a cyclist treats stop signs as yield signs. That means that if there is traffic at the intersection or traffic that can pose a threat or conflict, the cyclist must stop and wait for a clear intersection. Second, cyclists treat stop lights as stop signs. That means to stop and if the intersection is clear, you can proceed through the intersection. This law is not an attempt to legalize dangerous behavior. In fact, just the opposite. Cyclists yielding at stop signs increases their efficiency and is really logical if you've ever ridden a bicycle as a commuter or for utility or necessity. Many cyclists want to clear the light controlled intersections before other traffic in order to stay safe. Cyclists are often bullied or passed dangerously in these types of intersections. It really is good to clear these conflict zones when it is clear. Uh, you do not want to be in the situation where there's a bully behind you and you're waiting for a stoplight to change so you can go through the intersection while he's right behind you. I've had many dangerous passes by people who are impatient or upset. So for the cyclists out there, this is not to justify blowing stop signs at 20 miles an hour. You know what yield means, just do it. This doesn't justify blowing through a seemingly clear light controlled intersection either. You need to stop, double check to make sure that it is clear. And so cyclists actually have a really good vantage point when they're on the road. When they pull up to an intersection, they don't have anything in their field of view that obstructs them. They're able to see uh, more clearly down the road in, in all directions. They really are able to tell when it is safe to clear the intersection. One thing about roads that are designed specifically for motor vehicles is traffic signals and many traffic signs. They came about to prevent motor traffic from causing harm to others or even themselves. And there are specific rules depending on the vehicle you use. Some vehicles have specific lane restrictions or speed limits. They may not even be allowed to use certain roads or cross bridges. I just want everyone out there to stay safe. And I also wish our lawmakers to please consider passing these vehicle specific laws. Cyclists can safely use these laws to navigate their routes. They in no way impede other traffic. In fact, for a cyclist to be able to travel through an intersection quicker will allow them to be in a safer position once they get to the other side of the intersection. We're all really trying to avoid conflicts in this whole situation. Thanks and please subscribe and have a great day.